For emptying a catheter, uh, everything should be in the resident's room. We need alcohol pads to sanitize or clean out the spout, and then we need a graduated cylinder to measure the output of the catheter. So I will knock on the door, wash my hands. Hi, Lee, it's Myra. I'm here to empty your catheter. Is that okay? Okay, I'll provide for privacy. Okay, I'm going to raise your bed up a little bit so the catheter bag doesn't touch the floor. I could also, if needed, raise the side rail and put the bag there. I'm going to put a barrier down on the floor and the graduate here, get my gloves on. Typically the graduate is kept in the resident's bathroom. And there are a few different ways catheters open. It really just depends on the manufacturer. So you wanna check with your facility and just familiarize yourself with how the catheter bag opens before you do that. Because obviously you don't want any surprises when you have an open catheter spout. So we wanna make sure that the spout of the catheter doesn't touch the graduate. Because this is sitting in the bathroom, there may be pathogens growing on the side of the catheter. So this particular catheter, you squeeze the sides to get the spout out. We're gonna make sure that gets into the graduate. And then this is the opening of the clamp. So we're gonna let that drain. And it's good to hold it again so it doesn't touch the sides of the graduate. We'll get all of that out. We'll put the clamp back on. Get that out of the graduate. And we'll take our alcohol. And we want to clean this part of the spout. And get in as far as you can, but you don't want the pad to get stuck in there. And then we're going to clean out this holder that the spout goes into. that away and then I want to put the graduate on an eye level surface I don't want to take something from the floor and put it on a clean surface so I'm going to have another barrier I can leave that flat I'm going to look at the cc's and make a note of that I don't want to write anything down with my dirty gloves on then I also want to look at the color of the urine make sure that there's um, no sediment in it that it's not cloudy those are things I would report to the nurse if I saw any of that um, and then you can get kind of above the graduate and make sure it's not, all odor has a smell to it. But if it's really strong, you want to report that as well because all of those things may be a sign of infection. So I would take the urine to the toilet. I would dump it in the toilet. Most facilities have either a sprayer or some sort of um, attachment to the toilet to rinse that. And then you are just going to let that dry in their bathroom. You're not going to dry out that graduate anything that gets dumped into the toilet, you don't want to be sticking your hands into that. So I would dump it and rinse it, leave it to dry in the resident's bathroom. And then my hands are dirty, so I can take this off the floor. And then I would remove my gloves. Wash my hands. Are you comfortable, Lee? I'm going to bring your bed back down, get making sure the catheter doesn't touch the floor. Check that the bed is locked. I see you have your call light there. I'm going to open up the curtain. And now that my gloves are off and my hands are clean, I can get my pen out of my pocket and document the urine and then report anything to the nurse as necessary.